Hi, so here we have a problem about a weight on a spring. And long story short, we need to find its velocity at the moment the weight is one centimeter above its central position. Um, so at time t equals zero, um, we actually find that its distance is currently two um, above its central position. And so it's going to start by just falling down and we need to find it when it is, um, well, it's actually starting here. And so it's falling down and we want to find its speed when it's here. Um, so we need to find the time at which it is one centimeter above its central position. So we plug in one for D for, D for distance um, equals two sine four pi times T plus one eighth. I'm gonna save on some writing time because I only have five minutes total and this is a pretty long problem and start by saying that one half is equal to the sine right out. I just divided by two up. I'm gonna distribute in. So one half is equal to sine of four pi T plus four pi over eight is pi over two. Well, where on the unit circle is sine equal to one half? Yeah, that's bad. Let's uh, use a circle. Oh, come on. <laughs> where on a circle is sine equal to uh, one half? Well, if this is our flat horizontal, sine of one half is at either pi over six or five pi over six or two pi, uh, in, uh, multiples of two pi at either, plus either of those. So we'll start with pi over six is equal to, so we took the arc sine of both, is equal to four pi t plus pi over two. And long story short, when you do the algebra for this, just because I don't know how much time I have, this is going to lead us to t being equal to negative one twelfth. And we can't have this um, because our time has started at zero right like it'd be kind of cheating to to back up in time so we're gonna have to keep going forward and try where five pi over six um is our is, is our time um or is our angle so we're going to take this being equal to four pi t plus pi over two and if you work through this right you subtract pi over two from both of these um well we can first just cancel out all the pies. So five six minus one half, that is uh, two sixths. And then dividing that by four is going to be equal to T. So two twenty fourths or one twelfth. So this is the time at which the instantaneous, uh, the time at which the weight is first one centimeter above its central position. And so now we need to use this T value in the derivative. So let's take the derivative of this function. So d prime of t is equal to, well, constant out front is still two. Uh, derivative of sine is cosine. So two times cosine of four pi, I'm just gonna distribute out four pi t plus uh, pi over two. But now remember we have the chain rule to deal with. So what's the derivative of the inside of this? Well. The inside is pi over two, which comes up to nothing, plus four pi t. Uh, that t just gets derived away. So this is times four pi, which means that the instantaneous rate um, at the instantaneous rate of the rate of change of the weight's position at the moment the weight is first one centimeter above the central position will happen at time one twelfth. So we're going to plug one twelfth into this, and so your answer is going to be eight pi times the cosine of pi over three plus pi over two. Oops, over two. And I'll let you do the actual uh, math for this, um, but just looking at what it'll be. So pi over two is here, pi over three added onto that is a little over here. So this is going to be a negative number, the cosine, and it's gonna be a pretty negative number. Um, the actual number is written out negative 21.766 something, but I expect this answer is in pies, and so that is the leftover math for you to do on your own when you show your own work to this problem.